Hey Internet, it's your old friend Joe, and I am here with a huge array of pinball machines because we wanted to share with our community out there exactly what pinball machines we have and how we've made them special for you, our viewing audience. To start with, we have the Wizard of Oz. Now this is Jersey Jack's first machine. Uh, it is incredibly complicated. It has one of the most complex rule sets on a pin in existence. And it has all sorts of crazy stuff happening. For one, you've got all of these intense light uh, lighting effects. It's got multicolored LEDs. It's got that giant LCD screen. You can see when you start it up, it has four different objectives that all happen concurrently. And to point out that even on a machine like this, with a million features, we still found ways to do a little thing for you, our audience. We have down here our very own 3D printed Emerald City, which uh, apparently was supposed to be part of the game initially and didn't quite make it. One of the gameplay modes includes Dorothy being captured, and this game actually has two separate smaller play fields in addition to its main wide body But as you can see, this is one of the most intense machines currently available, and it's definitely something to experience. Right here we have the Walking Dead pinball. This is Stern's latest pinball machine. It is quite flashy. It also uses tricolor LEDs like Wizard of Oz. However, it does have a bit of more old school feel than Jersey Jack's. You can see it has a standard dot matrix display up there. And some of the cool stuff we've done for this game uh, includes, but is not limited to, adding the power. This is a fully 3D printed uh, addition. It gives you, it has LEDs that interact with the play field, it lights up, it does all sorts of neat stuff. We also have the Hitchhikers Maybe Escaping Inmates, which is tiny but quite neat. We have the Welcome to Woodbury sign, which also lights up. And my personal favorite, we have added a shaker motor. So when those zombies bite you, you know it. This is a quite intense, fast-paced game. Uh, it moves quick, and it has some of the most grisly dog matrix animations you will ever see, as well as uh, cool skill shots, uh, some great multi-ball modes, and of course, uh, two different bash points with our well walker here and the um, prison. Next up, we have another Stern game. X-Men. Ours happens to be the Magneto Limited Edition, which comes with this beautiful side armor, that lovely back art, and of course, lots of Magneto. Now, this is a game where we haven't done too much to make it different from the standard, but we have, as in The Walking Dead, included a shaker motor. <laughs> And this game uses it a little more than the Walking Dead. It kind of gives you a quick troll every time you do something. Which can be pretty neat. This is another really fast playing game. It's got a lot of ramps, as you can see. It's got some cool magnetic tricks with a uh, spinner disc down there. That's a uh, sort of magnetic to uh, Magneto, obviously. Wouldn't really be a Magneto game without that. It has similar uh, dot matrix to and you can really see it going crazy. I just started some Wolverine Ball. Also worth noting, all of our certain we uh, are very careful to keep them updated to the most important version. So this game does have all of the features that it should. Here we have one of our first two classic daily games. This is Judge Dredd. It is a beautiful machine. It is a wide body, or as they called it, a super pen. It has one of my absolute favorite features in any game, which is Super Game. That's a special game mode played here on the second start button that turns every ball into multi-ball. And in addition, 
Our version has some really intense modifications that make it super special for you. First off, obviously our dot matrix is in full color. And in this game, that is especially appealing because Judge Dredd has some of the coolest dot matrix art of any game. In addition, you'll notice our dead world has been modified to restore the prototype um, and originally intended functionality of full ball. And here you can see the original multiple mode as it was intended, where each wall blocks into the dead world and then it was moved by the frame. This is the modification that, uh, in the final version, it was removed at the last minute due to reliability concerns. But because our arcade features attendance and is a, you know, supervised arcade where we also do our best to keep everything maintained, we're going to go ahead and risk running this boss. So enjoy it. Here we have one of the very crown jewels of our collection, our second Bailey Classic Machine and what many consider to be, if not the best pinball machine ever made, certainly one of them. This is the Adams Family. Now wow. you may say, how do you improve upon perfection? And it's true, there wasn't a lot we could do to make this game better than it already is. However, we have done some minor aesthetic modifications that I think people enjoy. You can see our bookcase here has been uh, vinyl stickered with uh, the matching ground area and the actual books to give it a little bit of a, you know, more complete look. And of course our thing box back there is now a beautiful black matching the uh, movie and TV series <laughs> Also you can see that our thing works, which is important, and it isn't always true with this game, unfortunately. Our final pinball machine is a true classic from 1976. This is Chicago Coins Hollywood, which we have completely restored from the ground up. Each of the, uh, the paint on the play field, the plastics, the mechanics, everything on this machine has been lovingly restored by our technician, Dan Hall, and with assistance from our secondary technician, Marika. And you can see that it is just a beautiful machine. It has classic five ball play. And although it doesn't have any modifications, it does have a working chime coil, which we like to think makes it pretty special. Now, while it doesn't have the high speed play of a modern game, it does have a certain classic charm. And personally, I adore the theming of this game because I like classic Hollywood. And you can see things like Laurel and Hardy, so here is Victory Point's current pinball collection. And when we open soon, there may be even more to see. We'll have to keep you, uh, you know, waiting with bated breath. And we hope that when we do open, we'll see some of you pinheads in here. And you can see how much we care about this hobby and how much we care about classic games and how special each of our pinball machines is to us and hopefully to you. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.